Many of our neighbors are talking about gun safety and gun laws. They came out to a discussion earlier tonight to talk about how to make communities safer all across the state. It was called After Covenant. And we want to get to our Danielle Jackson tonight. Danielle, let's talk about who they came out to see and hear from tonight. Tracy, all three panelists, Dr. Alex Jahangir, Senator Bill Frist, and the lead pastor, Reverend Dr. Clay Stolfer, held an event inside of Woodland Christian Church to talk about ways in which they could create change around gun safety in our communities. Dozens of people came out to Woodmont Christian Church Monday evening to hear these speakers. Dr. Alex Jahangir, a level one trauma orthopedic surgeon, shared his perspective on providing care to gun violence patients. He gave an example of how car deaths decreased after laws were put in place. Guns are killing people, just like cars did back then. We will never get to a point where that doesn't happen, just like we don't get to a point where cars will uh, always be um, motor vehicle fatalities. But we can do better if we just step back and think of pragmatic ways to keep our kids and others safe, just like we did for cars 40 years ago. Senator Bill Frist, a medical doctor and a former majority leader for the U.S. Senate, says it's an issue that's growing and it's time for us to act on it. The guns and these weapons are the number one cause of death for people under the age of 19. That's never been seen in any other country in history but it has occurred today and it's increasing. Reverend Dr. Clay stole for pastors Woodmont Christian Church his members, Katie and Mike Dickhouse, were impacted by the school tragedy, losing their daughter, Evelyn Dickhouse. You all have continued to show us how to be beacons of light, strength, and love, like our Evelyn. Stouffer says as the role of a pastor and pastoring others who were also impacted by the Covenant school shooting, he wanted to bring people together to bring change. I just can't sit back. For me, it's a moral issue that we have to try to do something different. I believe that our children deserve better. I believe that our communities deserve better. Their conversation centered around gun safety, gun legislation, mental health, and this year's special session. They discuss ways people can get involved, like reaching out to their state reps and senators. If you want to change this politicization, this understanding, you have to have your hand up, and then you need to write a letter to them tomorrow. If not, how is it gonna change? Several members of Voices for a Safer Tennessee, a grassroots nonpartisan organization dedicated to prioritizing common sense firearm safety, attended tonight's forum. Jennifer Hellner, one of the organization's co-founders, says she's hopeful this conversation will stay at the forefront as legislators head into a special session in August. The message that we would have for lawmakers going into special session is to genuinely listen to the people of Tennessee, pay attention to the polls, the overwhelming majority of Tennesseans, both Republican and Democrat, gun owners and non-gun owners, are all in agreement that we need to revamp, revise, and put some more thought into the laws. And during the forum tonight, they also talked about the need for stronger background checks and firearm storage laws, and well, as well as red flag laws. Now, to watch the entire dialogue, you can head over to our free WSM4 News 4 app. Maurice Tracy. Some powerful sound bites. Great to see it so well attended too. Thank you very much, Daniel Jackson tonight. Now the